lawyers for Heine Hutchins, the cinematographer who died last fall on the New Mexico set of the western film Rust when a gun held by actor and producer Alec Baldwin discharged, are blasting the Santa Fe Sheriff's Department for releasing a video showing her last moments. On Wednesday, two days after law enforcement officials released dozens of videos, Photographs and text messages related to the Rust investigation, attorneys said new Mexican law enforcement officials trampled on the constitutional rights of the Hutchins family, according to a letter obtained by Brian Panish, the lawyer for Hutchins' husband and young son, demanded the sheriff's department remove a video that shows Hutchins, fighting unsuccessfully for her life as paramedics attend to her, from the data folder. The Santa Fe Sheriff's Department did not respond to USA Today's request for comment. Earlier in the week, department spokesperson Juan Rios said the trove of documents were released as a result of requests from both the media and lawyers involved in the case. Santa Fe County Sheriff Adam Mendoza, the recipient of Panish's letter, said Monday that his investigation remains open and ongoing as it awaits the results of ballistics and forensic analysis from the FBI, as well as studies of fingerprint and DNA. Such details are necessarily in order to determine whether criminal charges will be filed. The video of Hutchins went public when Radar Online posted a story Monday that contained the body cam clip, labeling it viewer discretion advised. In his letter, Panish wrote that having the video in circulation could particularly affect Hutchins' son, Andros, 9. The potential consequences are dis. We fear, for example, that this shocking footage of Andros' mother dying may be material used by bullies to emotionally abuse him in the future. Central to Panish's complaint is that the Santa Fe Sheriff's Department offered his client less than a day to review the extensive file of documents. But then that review was scrapped altogether. Your office released the materials to the public before releasing them to Mr. Hutchins, he wrote, adding that the first time Matthew Hutchins saw the video of his dying wife was on Radar Online.